In this video, we'll be running through how to pack pictures properly. It'll be the same theory with mirrors of a similar size. Firstly, cover your table with a blanket if you have one to protect that. Firstly, lay some bubble wrap down on the table. Place your picture on top of this. Pull the bubble wrap back in. And then you can move your picture around into the floor. Once completed, tear up the bubble wrap, seal down with the tape. It may seem like a lot of bubble wrap, then it'll be well protected. Next you want to find a box that's just slightly bigger than your painting or picture, for instance. You can then seal them on one edge. Same on the other side. And run some tape this way as well. Create the sleeve. You could then slide the picture into the sleeve. So, seal this edge up as well. Your picture is then protected by the bubble wrap and a strong card cover so it can't be damaged. For larger pictures you can get a wider bubble wrap or in this instance we're using export wrap. This is similar to bubble wrap but more protective. You place your large picture onto this material, roll the material back over and it'll give you an idea what size you need. You can then cut this to size. Once you cut this to size, overlap slightly. Put down the long edge. Fold in like you wrap a present. Make sure the folds are on the back side of the picture. You may find this is easy with two of you for the first couple of tries. So your good side of your painting is completely free of any folds. You can then wrap this in cardboard like we showed with the other smaller picture. Or check with your mover if they can bring you a picture carrying bag. I'll show you that now. If your mover can bring you a picture carrying bag, these are great. Still bubble wrap all your pictures but then they can be put inside your bags. And each section is protected. The 
these bags have a number of sections that are padded, quilted, and also have a protective layer to stop the pictures bashing against each other. These then seal up, they can be secured in place, and these are the best way by far of transporting pictures. Packing smaller pictures can be a lot easier and a lot quicker. Crunch up some paper and line the bottom of your box. This gives you a nice soft base. Take your first picture, pop it in the middle of the paper, a couple of sheets fold it over, fold it over, fold it in, like so. Stack these upright in the box. You can repeat the process. Make sure you use plenty of paper. When the box is full, fill any void crunch paper or any soft items you need to move like a cushion so the box is completely full to the top. Fold it in, seal it, mark it as fragile. You could also use bubble wrap for this process if you've got enough lying around, otherwise paper is absolutely fine.